everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful and great day. Eric here. And uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about the words of our mouth. And so, um, you know, there, there's always that saying that that's, that goes like this. You've heard, everybody's heard it. It's called, you know, think before you speak. Um, some people say, you know, you have two ears and one mouth. You know, God's trying to tell you, you know, to um, to really pay attention before you just blurt out something, you know. And I've, I, that's one thing I have learned to do. I've, I've, and sometimes still learning that I um, sometimes I always want to think before I say something because sometimes if I just, as soon as I see something, I react to it. Um, sometimes after I react to it, it wasn't what it looked like in the beginning, if that makes sense. So, you know, it's, it's very, very important to, to think, you know, before we speak, um, because our words can either, they can either help us or they can hurt others. You know, um, <clears throat> Napoleon Hill said, our words can plant seeds of success or failures in people's minds. Um, it's not just about others, right? Um, it also affects us too. And so we should always be careful how we talk to ourselves as well, because it can actually shape our lives. One thing that um, it's really awesome to do is um, if you don't really feel inadequate or you don't feel like you're enough to every morning when you wake up, go into the mirror whenever you wake up, whether it's morning time, afternoon, or whatever. And even if you don't feel like doing this, go look into the mirror, and I want you to look at yourself in the bathroom mirror or wherever mirror you have, and I want you to tell yourself every day that you love yourself. Say, I love you 10 times. So you have to do 10 times a day. And maybe even speak some good things to yourself. You know, I appreciate you. You know, you're more than enough. And if you don't really know the words to speak, you can, you know, write down. You can, like, um, Google it or however you want to find it, chat GPT or whatever. And just put on, you know, give me 10 motivating things to say to myself every morning. And it will give it to you, you know. I love you. You're more than enough. You're more than a conqueror. You know, if you're a Christian like I am, you know, you are, you know, blessed and highly favored in the Lord Jesus Christ. Just whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? So, um, because that shapes our lives when our, when our thoughts and our thoughts and our, and our heart are synced together through his spirit then we see ourselves how we truly are. Not of what the enemy thinks, but how we truly are. You know, and talk to ourselves, it will help us to shape our lives. And when you're talking good about other people, it helps other people as well. You know, and the Bible talks a lot about what I'm talking about. Um, in Proverbs 18, 21, it says that our words have the power to bring life or death. So we need to use our words, right? To build people up, not to tear them down, you know, to bring, bring encouragement, you know, to, there's, there's too many people in the world. There's a lot of chaotic people that just talk negative and talk down and, you know, and, you know, and everything. And it's just, it's not right, you know? Um, Ephesians 4.29 says that we should only say things that encourage and help others and not stuff that hurts them. And in fact, I'm actually going to look up Ephesians 4.29. Um, I forgot to do that. So let's see, Bible. I'm going to go to Bible.cc. And I'm just going to look up Ephesians 4.29 just for a moment. And this is what it says on here. 
we're going to leave out, we're going to read out the New Living Translation. And it says, Do not use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. Man. So, speaking kindly, right? It's like giving life to people. Um, when I pray for people, I lay hands and I command the life of, I say life in Jesus name. We're speaking life into that body. We're speaking life, the spirit of God to come and to flow and to bring healing. And our it says that God sent his word and he healed them. Your, the word is already done. The word is already set forth. It's already done. Healing is already yours. All you have to do is receive it. All you have to do is take it. And it's yours. It's yours, you know. Um, Proverbs 15.4 says, Nice words are like a tree of life, but mean words can crush someone's spirit. So as Christians, we should talk just like Jesus did. In the, in the Bible, it says, as he is, so are we in this world, you know? So with kindness and love, you know, we should walk our walk like Jesus. And there's so many Christian people that they don't really know who Jesus is. They, they go to church, they, you know, they go to church every Sunday, they sing the hymns, they worship the Lord while they're there, and they get out and they live like the world, not realizing that that spirit of Jesus goes with them anywhere they go. But they're unaware of it, you know. And we don't need to be like that. We need to be representing the king, you know, and so we need, like I said, we need to talk like Jesus. We need to act like Jesus. You know, we need to do this with kindness and love, you know, Colossians 4, 6 tells us to always speak nicely to others so we can show them the love of Jesus. So we have to remember this, to always use our words to spread love and kindness by speaking nicely. And then we can make the world a better place for everyone. So that's um, all that I have for today. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you um, leave a comment on what you liked best about it. And if you want to know of any other videos uh, for me to do, just leave that in the comments and I would love to do those. Anyway, thank you, and uh, you have a wonderful and blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video. God bless. Bye for now.